economic policy proposal, resolving the gap between the rich and the poor and improving the distribution structure, forming a virtuous cycle of growth and distribution. The gap between the rich and the poor has been a significant issue in our society for a long time. Since the 1997 IMF economic crisis, this gap has worsened, with the Gini coefficient continually rising. The middle class has shrunk, and the debt of the poor has increased, leading to greater social polarization. To address this issue, improving the distribution structure is essential. First, economic growth must go hand in hand with distribution. Growth without distribution is not sustainable. As seen in the cases of South American countries, severe income inequality leads to social conflict and distorts economic policies. This highlights that strategies emphasizing only short-term economic growth do not guarantee long-term sustainability. Second, according to IMF reports, societies with equitable distribution tend to experience faster economic growth. Research indicates that deepening income inequality slows down economic growth and shortens expansion phases, providing clear support for this argument. Third, the IMF has recently presented a new perspective, indicating that wealth redistribution does not harm economic growth. In the past, there were concerns that redistribution policies, such as taxing the wealthy, would negatively impact growth. However, Current studies show that such policies can promote faster and more sustainable growth. In conclusion, growth and distribution are mutually complementary. Growth expands opportunities for distribution, and addressing inequality through distribution leads to more stable economic growth. It is now time to create a virtuous cycle of growth and distribution by actively implementing policies to improve the distribution structure. Thank you.